Hello everyone. Well, guess what, guys? I've added into my short trade. So it was a two hundred thousand dollar short trade. Now it's about three hundred thousand dollar short trade over on Bybit, over on Bitcoin. And before we go to the chart, and before I show you exactly the reasons why and what is happening and what is my analysis, let's quickly go over all the news. And remember that if you want to be trading on Bybit yourself, up to thirty thousand dollars in bonuses awaits you down in the description of this video if you use my exclusive link and all these other bonuses. If you want, post that video take a look at the bonuses this is something to die for really to be honest for any trader out there so now let's quickly talk about all the news and all the all the things we're seeing and then we're going to move back to the short and i'm going to show you quite a few important points that i'm personally looking at right now so and as always if you appreciate these daily updates then please smash that like button slash smash that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell because a lot of you guys who are watching are actually not subscribed so then you complain that you miss something you misunderstand something you have to be subscribed and make sure that the notification bell is on. So first thing I wanted to mention, it, it, this is goes uh, to the courtesy of a uh, ref flexivity rest whatever this is uh bitcoin hodl waves so and right now actually historically this is like the amount of hodling that we are seeing and this purple area the purple stands for the hodling of more than 10 years so this is quite crazy and i mean the the colors to the right are actually the colors that represent uh bigger smaller um time frames so what we are seeing here actually right now we are seeing a record of 67 percent of bitcoin supply it hasn't moved in at least a year despite macroeconomic uncertainty so basically in simple layman terms what this means and look i mean it's at all time high right here that there are more believers in bitcoin than ever why is this bullish why is this just in general good it just shows the conviction of people and there is going to be less people selling if there's going to be another black swan event whatever so this means that well it doesn't mean that we're going to the moon in the next two weeks please understand this what this means in general that if there's going to be a huge recession for example maybe we won't even see um you know the current low so maybe we'll go down to like 16 17 thousand dollars while s p 500 is going to crash and everything is going to crash but bitcoin just because there is so much conviction Conviction right now there isn't enough of people actually who would be ready to sell bitcoin that it would just physically not go any lower so these kinds of charts paint a huge picture as to what you're investing in you're investing in to the future again not financial advice just my personal opinion this is absolutely beautiful now when it comes to the markets right now we're gonna move to the chart in just a second but we're currently seeing that the markets are very uncertain so the markets really don't know what to do even though there are quite a few weaknesses and quite a few bad things happening in the chart which i'm going to show you in just a second but in just in general the earnings are coming in very mixed and the outlooks of big companies and conglomerates are also coming in very mixed and considering the inflation that is actually going up not down I mean I'm not surprised that S&P is actually breaking very important key level right now we're going to get to it in just a second so next thing really wanted to pay it, um, point this out is that Shiba is now accepted in but remember this is just a uh, state of Georgia so not the whole United States or whatever just the state of Georgia which is still I mean I mean it's the beginning of the future <laughs> so now is accept uh, Shiba Inu is now accepted at fast food Wendy's restaurant and also another 600 businesses via this partnership so this is crazy 600 businesses in Georgia are accepting Shiba right now this is crazy so next thing which is also a bit positive really that right now we are finally seeing that after eight years Mount Gox this whole huge collapse of Mount Gox Mount Gox creditors uh will be starting to receive their Bitcoin and there was this huge uh threat that you know 140,000 Bitcoin or whatever the amount was would be dumped at once and it would crash the market so really as of right now as there's uh, every, everything every single article is stating that Mount Gox bankruptcy repayments are unlikely to really destabilize Bitcoin in the way how they want to proceed with this is just not posing any liquidity threats quite frankly so and this is something I told you before even though I was quite concerned about it but I told you that most likely there is so much money in Bitcoin right now that even if they were to dump all of it in like three days or two days there would be enough of liquidity to sustain the selling pressure so this is something we can finally this uh, small piece of this dark cloud we can actually remove to the side next one just as a quick reminder that ethereum's uh ethereum is coming very close to uh, letting their uh, users withdraw staked eth so as a matter of fact uh they did a few simulations on test nets and those were went successfully and the next simulation will be on the this one as it says gorly test net after which shanghai upgrade will be deployed on ethereum's mainnet marking the next major milestone for the network's transition from pow 
W to POS um, back in September of 2022. So a lot of people are saying that once uh, you can actually unstake your ETH, a lot of people who staked it before are going to dump it on the market, etc. which quite frankly, again, ETH also has huge liquidity and not everybody is going to be withdrawing it. Not everybody is going to be selling it. And some say that there could be actually increase in staked ETH just because you can finally withdraw it. And there is no danger of not being able to withdraw it. So this could actually balance the scales out. And in general, I mean, potentially we could see some short term downside because of some supply and demand shock because of this potential to withdraw staked ETH. And it could potentially flood the hands of people who invested in it before. But I wouldn't really worry too much about it. So these are all the most important news. But I think that Shanghai upgrade just the last thought on this is very bullish in general for Ethereum, just to put it out there and tell me in the comments if I should do a separate ETH update. Now, let's move to the chart and chart is not telling us anything good guys and girls unfortunately we're really waiting for the next cpi reading which is going to be in two weeks and then the next decision on the interest rates which is going to come in three weeks but until then the markets are not very hopeful so look at s p 500 we actually saw this big breakout from this huge wedge which actually technically put the target at about like 5,000 points like almost all-time high for s p but look we broke this purple support we broke below ema ribbon right here and right now actually as we speak we're breaking down below this which used to be our resistance and then hopefully we were hoping it's going to turn into a support and as we speak uh, I look in the daily chart we're actually breaking below it we tested it a few times here here again here and then we just retested it from below and th theoretically in a short-term perspective actually turned it into a resistance again and now we're just going lower and creating new lower lows in a super short-term perspective but again this is how you uh, control your trades and if you're interested in proper trading education go to thomascrallo.com and you'll be absolutely freaking shocked about what you're gonna learn so anyway and this brings me to bitcoin really because because, I mean, Dixie, nothing good. I mean, in if we're going to take a look at NASDAQ, also nothing really good. I mean, we're still hovering above this uh, potential support from this whole wedge in NASDAQ as well. But again, it's just, it's all showing huge weakness. But most importantly is S&P because we just broke below it. So unless it's going to push really hard today at the market open and stabilize above and not let the price go below, then I mean, it just opens up the road, in my opinion, for S&P 500 all the way down to, I mean at least 3,500 points. And that is going to dictate a drop from the current price of uh, S&P of about 10%. So this is just spelling huge trouble for Bitcoin. But let's take a look at what is happening with Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin, again, because it was going this Chinese narrative, it's actually doing better than S&P 500. Oh, who could have thought? I mean, I hope that Bitcoin naysayers are enjoying the fact that it's performing better than US stocks as of right now, this year. Anyway, we are still above the MA ribbon, which again, the most important support is coming in at about $22,000 right here. If we lose this level with all the smallest, uh, smallest order blocks along the way as well, well, this is just going to be opening the road down to 20,000. We've spoken about this before. And at this point, let's just zoom in because we understand this is the target. But let's zoom in because there's a bunch of levels here which is going to take tell us a very good story as to what is potentially happening. And for this, let's go to the 15 minute chart. Let's just remove the volume so it's out of the way. And we're going to see very well as to what is happening. We had this very important support and this very important resistance. So we actually shorted Bitcoin. This is actually my short trade that is still open right here. This is when I shorted Bitcoin from here uh, on this bad PCE data, which is, I mean, just common sense, very simple short. But then, you know, we had this, we went down really nice. I mean, I had a nice profit, but then it came back. It retested the same level. I said, I'm not sure I'm not closing my short trade. Then it came back to it just like yesterday. And I'm still I wasn't closing my short I was like no I refuse to and I actually added into my short trade that's why right now it's like a three hundred thousand dollar short trade because I was just refusing to believe we're gonna rally on this you know, inflation reading so and right now we came to this support that was very important the red one and we are actually seems like look we seems like we're actually we got supported by it we broke below now we are we retested it from below and are moving to the, just a same similar picture to what we actually saw in S&P 500. This is a huge weakness. So right now our target really in a super short term is this purple dotted support, which actually is an important key market level as well from previously. If I'm going to take a look at a four hour chart then you're going to see where it comes from. It actually comes from all the way right here from uh, the end of January. So this is a very important level for, level for us. So if we're going to go back to this 
chart right here 15 minute one then this is coming in at about 23 200 which is like very close but again we're, we're just zooming in we're controlling the trade we're understanding as to what is happening the next target would be about 23 thousand dollars and then certainly uh the ones that i just spoke about briefly uh which are standing very close to the edge of the EMA ribbon, which is again, this 22K, this order block, just, just technically, just technical levels. And if we're gonna move to the downside, we test this area and actually move and open out the road to 20K, this is what could actually potentially happen. So that's why I wasn't closing my short trade. That's why I still believe in it. But certainly if it pumps again and really closes above 24K and goes in this vicinity, I, will, I won't risk it, I will just close it. And again, I want to see some volume and stabilization above that level. So this is the current update this is what i'm doing guys check out this quick tutorial is how to trade bitcoin in proper with proper risk and money management so that you save yourself from losses and also join my free discord channel link in the description this is where i post all of my personal trades as well as the trades of my team as always peace and love thomas crawler stay smart stay very rich and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye